More than 2.3 million people are affected by multiple sclerosis worldwide. And this past weekend, hundreds came out to raise money for research for the disease. Kathleen Cohen has the story. Imagine a copper wire with a plastic coating. The plastic coating protects the wire so that messages can be sent without interruption. Now imagine nerves in the human body. Nerves are protected by the myelin sheath the same way that the plastic coating protects copper wires. If a person is affected by MS, the person's immune system attacks the myelin sheath that protects the nerve so that the brain cannot clearly send messages to other parts of the body. This weekend, hundreds of community members gathered for Walk MS to raise awareness for the disease. It's a fundraiser for the National uh, Multiple Sclerosis Society Upper Midwest Chapter. We're one of, I don't even know how many, uh, in uh, North and South Dakota, Iowa, and Minnesota. Uh, that'll be held within the next few weeks. About 200 people attended the event, hoping to raise money for research and someday find a cure. We walk for my mom with MS. This is our fifth year with a team. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Go Team Don! <laughs> we have alumni that have had MS and um, a lot of the girls have family members or people they know that have had MS. I talked to Ann Hayes at the event to find out about how having MS has changed her life. Ann was diagnosed with MS in January of 2007. She has a progressive form of multiple sclerosis and can no longer walk without assistance. MS has made me a more humble person, if you will. Um, I, as a person who always did everything myself, rarely asked for help, uh, now I have to learn to ask and learn to accept. And I would say that that's the number one thing that people who talk to me about their frustration with MS is their absolute um, frustration in having to be so dependent on other people. Event coordinators hope people who walked for MS left with several realizations. Number one, that uh, it's a serious issue that still needs a lot of research and a lot of money donated to it because they don't know, even to this day, what causes it. They can battle some forms of it, but they don't know what cause it is. And I think the other thing is that even those with MS can still go out and, and live life. Whether walking in honor of a family member or just walking to raise awareness, everyone agreed that Walk MS is a great cause. Kathleen Cohen, Lakeland News. And meetings are held at Sanford Health in Bemidji every month and serve as a support group for people who have MS as well as people who have friends or family suffering from the disease. The meetings are free of charge and open to everybody. MS walks also took place in Brainerd and Park Rapids this past weekend. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.